So currently in Copenhagen and I have a few hours to spare so I thought what better way than to go to a thrift store and get my family some Christmas presents. Let's go! I found a kilo shop. Vintage shops can be great for pre-loved gifts because you're often pretty certain that the stuff is quality curated. Often, at least, most vintage stores are sorted and organized, making it really easy to find the things that you need. And when we're talking about quality, nothing quite beats the textile quality of the past. Today's fast fashion does not hold up or measure up in any way, shape or form. You can find some genuinely amazing pieces with rich history, but the clothes will also last. So if you're thinking of giving a knit or a shirt or a pair of gloves, etc., why not just go vintage? I love this shirt, by the way, with the watch on it. It was so adorable. Now, the vintage shops have some amazing options when it comes to fashion and clothing and accessories, but I have something a little bit different in mind for my family. Now, this is a lot more my pace. My family is not into fashion too much, so I prefer to give things that they can use around their house, especially kitchen gear, and for that, the Red Cross thrift store is perfect. Within the first two seconds, I found actual Le Creuset and also beautiful glassware. I would say that when looking for gifts in thrift stores, you have to be either lucky or consistent to find the perfect fit. Going multiple times during November and December is a good idea, but today I actually just hit the jackpot. My brother is going to absolutely love this. It's for waffles and I can just see him loving this. He lives on a farm and is very interested in doing things the old-fashioned way. Perfect, and it's the equivalent of five quid. There are so many options down here to find things, but all of these things are a little bit too big for me to carry home, but I am so inspired. This is the basement of the thrift store, but low-key, it's where the best things are. Don't be intimidated how this stuff looks when it's in this context, when we wrap it and we make it all nice. Anyway, I'll be vlogging when I get back home as well, and I'll show you how I gift wrap the stuff that we're getting. And I don't know if you can tell, but my throat is not having it today. If a store display for Red Bull is on your wish list, get your butt to this thrift store. This print is a little bit out of my budget, but it's so nice. I wish I could take this home as well, but this is 600 grams. The thrift stores in Copenhagen are definitely built different. Anyone wishing for a book with NSYNC's sheet music? Anyone? Now this was supposed to be gifts for my family and not stuff for me, but look what I found. The best thing is, in a lot of thrift stores, the vast majority is fast fashion. So once in a while, when you find something that's authentically vintage, this is definitely not a fast fashion tag. You're getting it. Three quid. Let's go. I seriously considered buying my dad this, but I wasn't sure about his size. So get your family sizes before going, just FYI. I was so inspired and found so many cute things that I wanted to get. I left with some gifts and ideas for next holiday as well. Now, of course, you don't have to go out into actual thrift stores. There are so many platforms to choose from, so you can also thrift shop and find gifts that are pre-loved online, which I think is really cool. I definitely recommend, especially Depop, Facebook Marketplace is solid. Some of the resale stores are owned by fast fashion companies like Selby, so, so do be aware of that if you're not a fast fashion girly. Hello, guys. So I'm back home and I want to show you what I got from the thrift store. I didn't get all my gifts from the thrift store and I think I'm going to use some of the gifts as sort of stepping stones into the actual gift. So for instance, I bought this plate for my mom because her actual gift is going to be like a ceramic painting workshop. So I'm gonna do a card and then she'll also get this nice little plate that she can use for trinkets or whatever. And I think I'm gonna do some beauty products, some homemade beauty products for her as well. But the primary gift will be the ceramics painting workshop. So I think Having just a little item to symbolize that along with the card is really nice. This is for my mom. And to nobody's surprise, I got the waffle iron. I think this is perfect. This is barely used. So amazing. I'm a little bit worried as to how I'm going to wrap this. 
but we'll figure it out together. And I didn't find anything for my dad specifically. Oh, well, that's a lie. I did find like the boots, the boots suit for fishing that he would probably have liked, but I don't know his size. So yeah, like just understand your parents, family of loved ones sizes before you go out to buy anything. But I didn't see anything else specifically that I knew he would really appreciate. So I'm gonna paint a painting for him and frame it. And then that's what we'll do. And then I'll also give him a trip to a local nature area that we're gonna do together. I think he'll really like that. That's sort of the gift situation that we have. But let's wrap up the gifts now. So I am wrapping the waffle iron in a canvas bag and I think I'm gonna do some decorations on there as well but basically it's a canvas bag and then my brother can get the canvas bag as well and use that for other things and here is my mum's gift. It's basically done, I just need like the little greeting card on it. We have a table cover and some ribbons from last year and then my homemade dehydrated oranges. I think this looks really, really nice. I have for the past many years made my own greeting cards, Christmas cards, etc. for gifts and for my family and loved ones. And obviously I've done that this year as well. So while we are packing the gifts in sustainable wrapping, reusable wrapping, we are also going to use some small decorative pieces that I made in the last video, which I'm really excited about. It's gonna be a very DIY heavy, Christmas gift giving season for me. I want to show you the cards or like art pieces that I'm giving my family and my boyfriend as well. You're gonna see those. So first of all, I have my mom's card. Is um, I try to do paint brushes. I just had a lot of fun with it. I have no expectations of this being always exactly the way you want to in your mind, but I know she's going to appreciate it. And we did with watercolor wrote like to my mother from me etc and on the back there is the actual gift and then the actual gift is going to be a ceramics painting workshop that we'll be taking in January together so that's the actual gift but then we have a card that sort of exemplifies we have some mugs on here we have some paint brushes then there's the gift on the back and then there's a cute little plate that you can use for her trinkets at home Ugh. okay so my dad loves fish and I try to do something sort of in the same theme as my mom's card but then I decided to just give him one of my older pieces, so this is not painted, this is just drawn on, this is just a pen. And I'm gonna frame this for him and then we're gonna do something together as well. But he's getting this with it, to go with it. We're gonna frame this for him too. And, and for my boyfriend I did a card as well, it has wine glasses and cheese. Specifically we call each other cheese bag when we're like being too cute or too flirty. So I thought that could be really fun to put on the card and then it's a spa weekend that I'm giving him. However I'm gonna wrap the gift and the card uh, along with a smell of ice and when he sees it he has to drink it. So I think that's gonna be fun and we're doing that tonight. Anyway so here's an update on the gift for my boyfriend. I'm using just a box that I got from actually my collaboration with Wild. I thought it had the perfect size. And then we have the card, it's wrapped around a can. We have one can of beer and then there's a Smirnoff in the other one. I'm gonna ice him for Christmas, it's gonna be great. So he has to drink it when he sees it. I think he's gonna think it's another beer. Then he opens it and it's an ice and you have to drink it. But then we have the actual gift wrapped around it. So he'll get to that afterwards. But I think this is looking really nice. Now let's wrap it. I have a piece of cloth and I think this is gonna be nice. It's actually a table cover, doesn't ma it doesn't matter. I'm gonna get it back, I assume. I usually get my stuff back whenever I wrap something in cloth, but I always mentally part with the stuff I'm wrapping my gifts in because maybe the gift receiver wants to use it to wrap a gift in as well. I think it's amazing when I get my stuff back, when the gift receiver says, oh, I'm not gonna use this, or I already have something in this regard, whatever. I take it back, that's perfectly fine. But if they can use it as well, I'm also super happy and excited about that. We're running into the issue that I can't really uh, turn the box over because then I'm scared I'm going to move the ice on the inside. So we're gonna try to do this without moving the box before really unwrapping it, kind of ruins the whole point. I am in no way, shape or form a good gift wrapper. Actually a little bit shit at it, but I think this is gonna work. Then I have the dried oranges that I made. Is this nice? This looks really weird. We're gonna put them all on the same one. Okay, one second. This is okay, but we're gonna find something extra. I also have some ribbon from last year. I actually have an entire drawer just with stuff like this that I can use for festivations. Hopefully we don't ruin the joke. 
I could really use someone to hold a finger down while, while I do the bow. It would be great if this was a more interactive medium, you can help me out. Ah, that'd be perfect. This is going to be a little bit of a piss bow, but it's okay. We do the best that we can, and that is all anyone and ourselves can ask of us. I'm quite happy with this. Okay, and should we do, yeah, just taking things out of my decorations. At some point I won't be able to do this anymore, just take things from my vases and use them, but I feel like you own things to use them, and I don't like things that are purely decorative, so I just take something from my vases whenever I need. And that is everything for this video. I am going to not vlog the specific Christmas pots. I'll probably do like some small bits and bobs on Insta, but overall speaking, the Christmas time is very special to me and it's where I spend time with my family without thinking about how to create content or make things look or anything like that. So this time of year is pretty sacred to me. And also the algorithm is really bad during Christmas time, so I'm not gonna bother creating something, but I will create more content on the other side of Christmas and we'll be back with more conscious consuming and I have some sustainable fashion for winter, etc. stuff planned, tons of things. And overall, I think it's really important that we reflect or examine in ourselves what makes secondhand gifts or vintage gifts, etc. seem unfitting for the holiday season. I think it's really important to reflect upon when and why products and resources and materials lose value. I've had so many people tell me that it's gross or like it feels poor to get pre-loved gifts when in fact I think it's the complete opposite and also it's a very context related mentality because there's so many places in our consumption circle where using things other people have used before is not gross like with hotel sheets or with restaurant uh, cutlery or with the clothes we try on in fitting rooms it's just about the context and I think it's important that we re-examine this within ourselves we need to buy less and better stuff overall and a really good way of going about that is to look towards pre-loved things also during the holidays. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I will see you guys next time. Take really good care of yourselves. Until then, bye. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys helped me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye.